Welcome to Around the Peninsula. I'm Senior Airman Christiana Scott. History is made every day. Specialist Tyler Ferris takes us to Camp Jackson, where a rock soldier achieves a milestone. Rock and U.S. soldiers gathered at Camp Jackson to celebrate the Warrior Leaders Course, or WLC, graduation. For Staff Sergeant Youngun Lee, today's ceremony was much more meaningful as she became the first female Rock Army NCO graduating from WLC. Weeks of training at WLC was challenging to me, but looking back, I learned many qualities of a true soldier and had a memorable time with other U.S. soldiers. We developed great relationships. Today's graduation is really bittersweet. Rock and U.S. Army soldiers developed different training exercises based on their own situation. During the strategic training exercise, Rock Army set their base and obstacle course in the mountain and fought against the approaching enemy. But the U.S. Army's STX training simulated the battle in the village. I'm glad that I can be prepared for both situations now. Not only does this training build a strong mind, but it improves physical strength as well. I changed a lot since I joined this WLC. I feel patriotism toward my country. And PT in the morning was really hard at first, but after five weeks of training, I got used to it and I think I gained enough strength. I hope more rock soldiers come here and train with U.S. soldiers and apply what they learned here to our army. I'm sure this will make our alliance a lot stronger. Specialist Tyler Ferris, Camp Jackson, Korea. Rock soldiers have participated in WLC training since July of 2012. Working with aircraft is a lifelong dream for one OSAN airman. Senior Airman Nancy Kasberg tells us how his job on the flight line inspires him to reach new heights. There's a competition going on today. Back to our side where we, where we win. Sounds a little overconfident, right? Well, when you're an E3 and you're representing your squadron in a weapons load competition, you kind of have to. Uh, the sense of pride you get from beating, beating somebody at your job, being, being the best, love that. For Airman First Class Nicholas Kazukowski, winning isn't the only motive for doing his job. I, know, I, just, I love the rush of loading. I know, something about bombs, their, their power is just exciting. A part of my job is going to the end of the runway and pulling all the pins, uh, our safe pins, which makes the bombs live so they can drop. And you know, you're right there with the, the engines running, it's about to take off. You see it go down the runway, it's, it's ready to kill, kill stuff. More than loading weapons, Airman Kalzakowski enjoys being around aircraft. It's, it's pretty cliche. I've always, you know, growing up, you go to air shows and things, you just want to fly. I just, I've always wanted to fly aircraft and I really wasn't aware of how to do that prior to joining. So I was like, what can I do to become a pilot? And the Air Force Academy was my, was my way to do that. Airman Kalzakowski is competing for a chance to commission as a pilot. But for now, his focus is excelling at his job and taking home the win for the best weapons load crew. I'm not gonna have words. It's, it's just gonna be great. Uh, this will probably be the last load comp I have here. Uh, last time that my crew and I are gonna be together. I'll be PCSing soon, hopefully. Um, it'll just be great to bring home a win. Senior Airman Nancy Kessberg, Osan Air Base, Korea. Hey, everybody. I think all of us did. Airman Kozakowski and his crew took the win for quarterly competition. Sometimes it's all about the bragging rights. Army Sergeant Ton Pham shows us one soldier who brings out his competitive side. With only a candy bar and some beef jerky for breakfast, this 2ID soldier hopes his game plan works as he represents his unit in the 2ID Best Warrior competition at Rodriguez Range. It's been a great experience. Getting tired, but I've had fun along the way. After walking for several miles with no one in sight, he's tired of hearing his own thoughts and doesn't mind that I tagged along. Roger. A native of Gallup, New Mexico, this ammunition specialist says he misses home, but aside from that, He's enjoying the challenge. Not many people get to do it, so I just wanted to try it, uh, do my best, and see what turns out. The uh, other competitors are uh, great soldiers, so it's quite a competition right now. He and other 2ID soldiers in the competition have to complete multiple obstacles, like treating a casualty, moving the casualty on a stretcher to a safe area, 
and calling a nine line medevac. Basically calling for help. Now there are more events in the 2ID Best Warrior competition, but Specialist Lee reflects on this week's experiences. Yeah, it showed me something I need to work on, something that will uh, further, further better me as a soldier, I guess. Army Sergeant Tan Pham, Rodriguez Range, Korea. Winners move on to compete in the 8th Army Best Warrior competition. Army training creates warriors mentally and physically. Specialist Pedro Amador shows how soldiers train their bodies to be their greatest weapon. <laughs> Twisted limbs, fighters pushed to the limit, and of course, a crowd cheering them on. As more than 50 mixed martial artists from the 2nd Infantry Division go toe-to-toe -to -toe in a modern army combatives tournament at the Camp Hobi Gym. The level of experience from the fighters varies, but they all display the same amount of spirit, heart, and determination to finish their opponent. I grew up wrestling, wrestled, wrestled all my life basically. Joined the army back in 2000, I ended up getting on the wrestling team in the army. Military world championships, I took bronze medal. As far as combatives goes, last year I won the uh, all-army combatives tournament down at uh, Fort Hood. For Garrison, the competition is tough as he has to spar in two fights just to reach the championship round. He relies on his training to finish his opponent. There was only four slots available per weight class. I'm from 210 Fires Brigade, so I represented uh, 210 Fires in the uh, 155 weight class. So I had three other competitors to compete against, but they were also the number one guys in their brigades. So uh, it was a pretty stiff competition. Get them heels in! Let's go! You're, you're right here. The time is right now. There's nothing else but you and the other competitor. And he's your enemy for the time being, or, or she, whatever it may be. And your training will take over. Finally, in the championship match, Sergeant Garrison fought hard and won by submission in his weight class. Specialist Pedro Amador, Camp Hovi, Korea. Winners from the 2nd Infantry Division will go on to compete in the 8th Army Combatives Tournament. As the U.S. Army's construction on the peninsula ramps up, the Korean Ministry of Defense is on site learning new things. Army Sergeant Jared Dawn slops on his hard hat for a closer look. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and the Ministry of National Defense, or MND, visit various construction sites together at Camp Humphreys. The MND and the U.S. engineers discuss the standards that the Army goes by when building new structures. Uh, the, the Army Corps of Engineers, we're prepared to take on this challenge. And, you know, we'll work closely with our MND counterparts and also with the other Army counterparts, the installation, the DPWs. And uh, I think we'll, we'll be successful in, in, in completing these projects. Uh, on time, within budget, safely. MND tour the barracks and note the visual differences in construction methods. This is a great opportunity for me. It is a great opportunity for Korea and the United States to build and improve their relationship. The exchange program I'm doing right now is a three-week program. It's already been two weeks and I've experienced and learned a lot of things. The MND train with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers annually. This joint training goes back 30 years. Army Sergeant Jared Don, Camp Humphreys, Korea. The MND U.S. Exchange Training Program started in 1985. That was your Around the Peninsula for Thursday, May 9th. From all of us at AFN, enjoy your evening. Be aware, ride safe.